Ladies and gentlemen, our inductee, Jimmy Word. Jimmy Word's mama would not let her son play football until he was a sophomore at Marshall County High School. But in his future days of football, he would go on to start against teams like Alabama, Notre Dame, Florida, Army, Syracuse, and Florida State. As a junior college transfer from Marion Institute, Jim Word would beat out a senior returning starter at defensive back for the Miami Hurricanes in 1971. The year was 1967. The daytime station WGSV would tape the games on Friday night, then put them on the air the next morning. Here is a replay of Jimmy Word scoring a touchdown against Sidney Lanier at the Crampton Bowl in Montgomery. Danny Parker, your quarterback. Here's Danny and Jimmy Word rolling around left end down to the one yard line. Touchdown. It was a great year, but on the short end of the score in the first playoff game, Coach Hollis Coleman's Wildcats with a 9 and 2 record. The 1968 ARAB game saw one, if not the greatest, comebacks in Wildcat history. ARAB led 20 to nothing at halftime. The second half would end 21 to 20. Word was a big part of the second half comeback. Word and Jarman, the running backs for the Marshall Wildcats, thinking to Jarman, throwing. Norwood's got his man down on the 20 to the 15 to the 10, inside the 10 yard line, out of bounds somewhere inside the 10, down around the goal line is Jimmy Word on that pass from Billy Norwood. Had a real cold first half, but back to the action now. Jimmy Word up and over, touchdown. Boy, oh, Jimmy just up and jumps over that line, dives over for the touchdown. Jimmy Word scoring from two yards out. The Wildcats, behind the outstanding play of Word, would defeat Albertville 14-6. Wing right. The Marshall Wildcats. Here's the gift to the wingman, Jimmy Word, right over the middle, to the 35, to the 30, to the 20. Inside the 20 to the 15, inside the 10. Jimmy Word, inside the 10 around the seven yard line. Following graduation, Jimmy was off to Marion Institute before joining Coach Fran Kersey's Miami Hurricanes. And after seeing what he could do, Coach Kersey moved the 174 pound Word into the number one berth at strong safety. Bill Lumpkin, the longtime sports editor of the Birmingham Post-Herald, wrote in his June 2, 1971 column that Word seems to be just the medicine Miami needs to plug a secondary that gave up 19 touchdown passes in 1970. The 6'2", 174-pound Word, in his first starting assignment, opened the season on ABC TV against the Florida State Seminoles. His performance in this game had cemented his hold on the strong safety position with a 43-yard return of an intercepted pass. A last-man tackle prevented him from going all the way from the Miami 18, and with less than a minute to play in the first half, Miami quickly chalked up a first down and garnered a field goal. Florida State ended up winning in a close one, 20-17. to 17. This is one of the official Miami sports publicity releases. Jim Word of Gunnersville, Alabama, helped the Hurricanes move to 4-2 last week by humbling Army 24-13. Coach Fran Kersey gave credit for the win to Jimmy Word in the defense. Word had three tackles and an assist during the win and did outstanding work on pass defense. Burgess Owens, a future NFL first-round pick, was a cornerback on this same starting unit with Jimmy Word. Number 29, Jimmy Word, and teammate number 32, Chuck Foreman, would serve as captains for the Alabama game in Tuscaloosa. Foreman would go on to become one of the great NFL running backs. The loss to the Bear Bryant coach team was compounded by Jimmy being injured early in the game and missing the rest of the action. The spring of 1972 found Jimmy working hard for his senior year of hurricane football. During the summer, he received some upsetting news about his application for pharmacy school at Auburn. His plans were to complete his senior year of football, then transfer to Auburn in the winter. He was told, if you don't enroll this fall, you will have to wait until the fall of 1973. The decision was made easier since his sweetheart, Linda Ruth Reed, was a student at Auburn. The daughter of Marshall County Charter Class Hall of Famer Ralph Reed would later become Mrs. Jimmy Word. Left to right, Jimmy. Linda Ruth, daughter Emily, son Brian, Brian is holding the grandson Davis, and Brian's wife Holly. These are the Word grandchildren, Caitlin and Davis. Word would become a pharmacist and have a career in the pharmaceutical field. Ladies and gentlemen, our inductee, Jimmy Word.